Hey guys, it's me Gash, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest way to get to the red cape. And also I'm going to be showing you guys what books you guys should get before leaving to go get the red cape. Um, this is going to be a tutorial video as well on what to do before leaving Haven as well. I know I already made a video on how to find the red cape, but this is going to be a more in depth on everything you should do. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously make some gold and go to the library and you're going to want to buy a bunch of books. This might be your first time buying books in the library. So the first librarian you should go to is the common librarian. I have what you're looking for. The first book you want to get is the reading book. Buy that for 10 gold or 10 silver and read that book first then the book you want to read next is uh, domestication taming and creature control after you read those books um go ahead and like pick up whatever you want from here like writing if you want to get that over with um like these are just like your basics you want to get but definitely first is re the reading book welcome back and depending on what you want to go for uh if you want to be like you know a foot combat guy like me you're gonna want to get the balance not back resistance this one um also armor training if you want to go for heavy armor nice talking to you and okay um don't worry about that uh crafting depending on if you want to be an armor craft you. or weapon craft or whatever get this book and make sure whatever weapon type you want to do like me i'm gonna do the bladed weapons so I'm crafting basic blades then you want to get I'm gonna do pole blades, so I'm gonna get that one. Then I'm gonna get the two-handed shafts. Then the handle book right here. Then those also a hilt, the hilt one. Armor crafting. If you want to do armors? Make sure you get all of these books. Please. Um. Also, another good tip is once you're gonna get armor you. stuff. Make sure you read your extraction books, all of these books, Extractions to Extraction Advanced. Then you're going to have to read a bunch of other books right here. I'm going to show you more Welcome back. in my book list. Uh, material lore. See what I have yeah, I'll show you guys Welcome that I have that in my reading. Then I have before you leave to go for. get the red cape, you're going to want to get this book. Quality leather lore. Learn this skill and you'll get quality leather. Please every come time again. you kill um the deer or whatever and you get their their hide, it'll be quality leather. Um that's it for like, you know, the basic books you wanna get from here. And what I usually do is oh, went the wrong way. Um go out through this exit right here. All right. Then what I normally do is go through this little alleyway. The parkour up here. If you guys don't have any food, like I already got my cooking to 33 and I was able to unlock two slots, which was able to let me add like a seasoning to my food. So you can get that book as well, the cooking book and to make, you know, okay food. By the way, these are like the books I'm using on my journey to the Red Cape. Um, basic spell book if you want it. Uh, quality leather lore. I gotta read it after I'm done with my creature control. I'm gonna be stopping it once it hits 49. Then armor crafting, I finished that one. Armor training. Vitalism. That's for the magic stuff. I'm not. I just see my first book from the magic place, so I'm not gonna really worry about that much. I'm just gonna get the skill. Extraction intermediate. 
advanced crafting appliances, crusher, grinder, mechanical, extractor, thermal. These are a bunch of like the extracting stuff, refining. Then these are like the the rock stuff. Metallurgy, metals, pig iron, coal, etc. These are just like my books I'm starting off with while I'm looking for the red cape. This is just to give me something to do while I, uh, you know, look for the stuff and level up my guy while I'm in Haven still, you know? And by the way, if you guys want to travel to another instance, make sure you go to the garden and go over here. And this is the fastest way to go travel or change instances, in my opinion. So, yeah. Alright, so after you, like, uh, you know, got your books and whatnot, um, make sure you guys get all the tutors, talk to all the tutors, click on all the boxes and whatever, you'll get skills from all the tutors. Um, next thing is put whatever you don't need in the bank. Like all this like stuff right here I got from the decayed corpse, like these uh cut from swords. And yeah, there's just a bunch of other shit I just bought. <laughs> yeah, so after you're done with all that, you're done with the bank, you're gonna wanna go northwest this way. This is gonna be where the stable is. Yeah, so you see a stable, they're just doing their thing over here. I want one of those things, eventually. So you can go down this way. And you can see two ways to go, you can go onto the bridge on the right side, northwest. Inside of the red cape. I made my guy look like a Spartan. I got the spear and everything. And the seal. Um, and I'll see if you go my my way, it's a lot faster route in my opinion. Uh, whatever works for you guys. I'm just showing you um, a little better way of what to do before leaving Haven. Like I said, get all your books and whatnot. Read your books. some stuff for me on the way. If I find a wolf or whatnot, I can tame it. Honestly, um, I know normally keeping all this stuff with you is not a good idea, but in Haven, you're rarely gonna die. It's really hard to die in Haven, in my opinion. Um, so don't be afraid to carry all your books and whatnot. What I like to do is once I'm done with all these books, towards my end of my journey on Haven, I will um, get the most expensive book I want, and I'll be reading that one. I can leave Haven with that book, you know. It's just, um, it's just so you can get like all this stuff out of the way, and once you get onto the mainland, you don't have to deal with farming gold and whatnot because. Getting Golden Haven is so easy. If you look on the left side, you can see like people are like going crazy for the cape, but I got you guys. Hopefully they see my video. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you're gonna wanna go down this hill. Once you go down this hill, it'll be in the right direction. You're gonna be next to the water and everything. Um, 
I've been in Haven for like a few days. Like I said, on my other video, I deleted my other character so I can get the red cape. Um, and you know, I don't regret it. I made my. I'm getting the books I want. Um, I'm reading them. I got the cape. I changed my character how he looks a little bit. I mean, it's not a bad idea if you're not really that far into the mainland game. I wasn't, so... I'm um, sorry, I kind of lagged. But yeah, I'm sorry guys. Oh, once you guys go down that little hill, take a right. Take a right. That's all you're going to want to do. Normally, you go this way, you're going to find bandits up there. If you go this way, you won't find anything. You'll be safe, and it's the fastest way to go. Um, yeah, let's keep running this way. Um, there's a little path. Uh, be careful with the Razorbacks. I mean, they can hit you, but they don't really do any damage, really. So, after you get to this point, get off the trail. Just head up this mountain. That's all you're gonna do. This is just like my little shortcut. Just go up this mountain. Are they still following me? Nope. Okay. I don't have any pets because my taming was low and whatnot, but it's okay, we'll get that done eventually. I'm just here to find the red cape. So once you go up the mountain a little bit, you're going to see like this little rock right here, and you're going to go over this little hill. Then, you can keep going this way, you'll find the path. See, a lot shorter. And going up this route, it makes it less tedious in my opinion. Like, it's, to, for me it's not that big a deal, but going south, east, whatever, to Fishing Village, for me, I don't know why it takes longer. Feels longer, I don't know. But, yeah, it's okay. Um, We're basically here. So I gathered more information for you guys um, on how to find the decayed corpse. Um, by the way, another thing is um, the reason why I say you're gonna need the um, quality leather lore is once you get this area, you'll see a bunch of deers and shit. Kill them all, get all their leather. <laughs> That's how you get quality leather. And so you'll be going up the trail. And I'm going to be showing you guys all the locations that I found on other videos and try to put them in all in one video so you guys can see where to get them and what to do once you're here also. Like I said, you're going to want to get the books. That way you have something to do if you don't want to keep going back and forth. Because you can just stay here, play other games, you know, do what you want. Yeah. Um, if you watch my other video, you'll know this is the mark. This is the center mark of where it could be uh, begin. From the left side to the right side. In my first video, I said it was mostly on the left side. But recently, I found out it could be on the right side and a little bit farther downward. So we're going to be starting over here to make things easier. Um, always keep a torch on you because if you do stay here for a while, it'll get dark and you're going to need this. So check behind the trees and everything. And don't be too, like, impatient about it because 
you'll know when you see it. Keep swiping your mouse everywhere until you see like a notification pop up or whatever. Um, it's generally in like this area on this side. Double check up here. Oh, another good thing is, guys, once you get up here, collect these uh, little um, plants. There's only two of them, and it only takes a second to do. Um, that way, once you get like 250, you get one gold coin, I believe. So that's one good way to make money while you're up here. Another good way to make money if you are a cape hunter, like me at the moment, <laughs> you can sell the capes for a good bit of money. So that's another good way to make good money while you're in Haven still. So. Um, I, I'm not seeing it on this side. It could be in the bushes, it could be in the, behind the trees, it could be in a lot of places. I'm going to be checking this side now. I'll check everywhere. If you're traveling a bunch of different instances, trying to find a cape, you got you should do this because I've seen a bunch of videos. Um, actually, just one maybe that it was on this side. Uh, keep a lookout. in the bushes somewhere. Check this side one more time. Yeah, I'm sorry if I, we don't find the, the decayed body in this video, but um, this is just, you know, a update tutorial video on what to do before leaving Haven and how to find the red cape, etc. Um, so I'm not having any luck over here but we will keep searching down this way um there is a lot of firm wood here if you want to cut down some firm wood while you're here um so I'm gonna keep going along the path um, this is the second location for the for the blue plant. All right, just get that over with. So you're gonna be searching left and right. seeing nothing make sure you guys hover your mouse everywhere that way you might get a notification go ahead and check this area make sure you guys check along the path as well go ahead and check here Could be anywhere over here, guys. Keep on looking. Um, yeah, like I said, um, it, it won't be on every server or every Haven instance, which kind of sucks. But uh, from all the videos I've seen. They are scattered everywhere, like around the area. You just gotta look for it. It's just one, but eventually you guys will find it. 
Um. I'll keep the video going for a bit, just in case you guys want to keep watching. If not, um. Let's see. Keep searching. Um, let's go up here. Like I said, after I'm done reading all my books, that's the time I'm gonna leave Haven. But I really wanna get, like, maybe one more cape before I leave, you know? Just in case that there's someone I wanna give it to, or if I just wanna sell it. All depends. Um,. gonna take a little bit of time to find it guys but be patient I found it like within like maybe a day but I won't lie to you guys this has been my third or fourth day trying to find it after I found it the first time and the first time I found it funny story is um there was another guy looking for the cape or the you know the body as well but I got there for him like really fast like like as soon as I found it I picked it up <laughs> as soon as I got it and it was funny he like ran over to me and uh, I put it on as soon as I got it but I started jumping because you know I got the cape but you know I, will, I got really lucky finding mine you know this is gonna be different story for everyone, you know, trying to find theirs. I know some people that found six already, and I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> but, you know, they're gonna take six capes with them. I'm like, that's cool. It's, you spend the time, uh, I mean, I think you earned it, you know? Um, I always check behind the trees, guys, in the little patches of grass. Um, like I said, um, this is basically a what to do video before you leave Haven. And all you gotta do is head southeast towards Fishing Village. You'll see like a, a log bridge. Cross that bridge, you'll stay on the path. And once you're on the path, You'll find the fishing village, and that's where you can leave Haven to the mainland server. Um, you don't have to do any of this, what I'm doing. Um, if you don't want the red cape, uh, just just keep going on that path, and you'll find you'll find the way to get to the fishing village. Um, it doesn't look like I'm going to be finding this cave. Now I'm getting kind of tired of finding it. But, um, but yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are looking for the cape, make sure you guys get your books and whatnot. And do what you gotta do to get your cape. If there's a lot of people here, just leave. By the time you find it, they're gonna be stealing it or whatever. <laughs> it's, it gets pretty hectic. I've already been through it. Um, for the last time I'll be searching. Like I said, make sure you guys hover your mouse everywhere. Um, yep, no luck, sadly. It's okay. I'm gonna keep searching. But yeah, guys. Hopefully, you guys like the video. Um, I'll be making more videos. Hopefully, in the future, if you guys want to see more videos like this, uh, this is my character one more time. The red cape looks really cool with all the blood on it.
There you go. Better look at my guy. Oh, so I could get a screenshot too. Yeah, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, take care, guys. Like and subscribe, and um, stay tuned for more videos, guys. All right, see ya.